Welcome back guys. The Apple mothership has certainly sprung a few leaks. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the biggest leaks of this entire year and that's regarding the iPhone 11 and its final form and AirPods 3 which are coming by end of year. So a little scary but even more stuff keeps getting leaked. I really never thought that 2018, the year of leaks, would get beaten. Apple has different plans for us this year, or everyone leaking all this information. So let's start with this. Planet of the Apes is actually happening, and this is where it begins, mark my words. So I thought that I would share this with you. Honestly, we're nothing but mammals, as a great man named Eminem once said. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's just ridiculous. How, why, that's cool, I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so in this video, we've got a couple large reports to digest. We're gonna start with this one from OnLeaks in collaboration with Cash Caro. They're bringing us the latest look at the iPhone 11 and all of the little tiny details you usually wouldn't see until the phone actually gets released. And there's a bunch here. I mean, for anyone that loves the leaks, this is, this is the bread and butter right here. So let's jump right in and take a look at the model. So it looks fairly familiar to what we've seen, but there are a few tweaks here on the design that actually speak volumes about what Apple's doing with this product. So we're going to start with the back. So it's one singular piece of glass now. There is no separation between the camera lens and the glass and it is such a brilliant design for several reasons. For one, it's just a cleaner look. It actually disguises the lens protrusion a little bit more than usual so it looks pretty good but Functionally, for someone that repairs iPhones, it's gonna make their day just that much easier, actually entirely different, much easier. Since it's a singular piece of glass and it doesn't cover the lens, it actually just runs up to it, that means it's gonna be easily replaceable. No longer will it be a $500, $600 repair if you break the back of your iPhone 11. So design-wise, great. I don't know about looks, you know, it's still being debated, but functionality-wise and design-wise, it's definitely an evolution. So moving on, the lenses on the back are now body colored. That's akin, I'd say, to painting the inside of your headlights the color of your car. A very strange design choice, especially on an iPhone. I haven't seen it being done anywhere else. This is in direct contradiction with the earlier rumor we heard about the lenses being completely stealthed out, just murdered black, and you wouldn't be able to see much inside of them. So Max Weinbeck actually messaged me about this a couple of days before this leak even and he said that that coating will only be applied to the front of the phone so the back lenses will not be blacked out not for 2019 anyways and just so you know that's the nature of leaks the information changes all the time and I'm just sharing it as it is with you guys anyways the back could be body colored and what we've seen in the video is that silver look on the inside of the lens and the black, but we haven't seen the gold, so that's what that would look like. I honestly think it's a little strange. I don't know if that'll grow on me, but I don't like it right now. I'd rather have the lens completely be blacked out. And something I didn't catch from Ming Chi Ko's earlier report is that the special dark coating would be applied only to the right lens, the new lens. And as OnLeaks points out, it's not much better than just coating the entire thing or leaving the entire thing exposed. So hopefully Apple can figure this out definitely in time. I do not like just the coated color look, but I'm sure it'll look different in person as it always does. And this leak is mentioning that it's not very perceptible, but the actual bezels have shrunk but just a little bit. And they said it's not even worth mentioning probably for Apple that they did this because you literally will not be able to see. Now, the only way that we can actually see that this has happened is in the measurements they gave. The actual specifications of the device were shared and it's actually shrinking in width by 0.5 millimeters and in height by 0.3 millimeters. So that's going directly into the bezel and they said that the notch width will be shrinking by just a little bit, but it'll be so hard to tell. So again, not a really big mark marketing point, but the bezels are slightly shrinking. The device is shrinking just a little bit, probably around one, 2%. Definitely not something you'll be able to tell. The actual microphone on the camera lens has a very odd placement now. On leaks notes that it's different from the initial leak. Now it's not synchronized with anything. Like it's an asymmetric design. I see that Apple is definitely embracing that. They started with the speaker grills. Now it's going to the microphone on the lens. And I'm sure there's a functional reason for this. It's probably a poor placement inside due to the very strange triangular camera lens shape. I'm guessing the housing inside is a very interesting shape, so they had to work around it. Okay, and one of the coolest things is the mute switch. The mute switch, which Apple has not touched for 12 years, is now changing. Mind you, it is not leaving, it's just changing. Now it'll be exactly like that 
on the original iPad. Did you know that the iPad actually used to have mute switches up until they killed them later on? But this one will be vertical. Instead of the horizontal mute switch, which every iPhone has had, I feel like in your pocket, reaching down and flicking this switch will be easier. It'll be easier to find. It's a nice rounded switch now. So you'll just know if it's up, you know, it won't go any further. But sometimes in your pocket, I get a little confused depending on which way your phone is facing the mute switch. It's different. And lastly, they did mention that USB-C is not happening in 2019. In the past, we've heard from other sources that Apple is testing it and it's likely, if they were to release it, would be 2020 at the earliest. So you guys remember all the AirPods 2 leaks, right? The matte black color, all those exciting features. Well, we got none of it. Anyways, Digitimes has just published a report saying AirPods 3 are happening and they're happening in 2019 with an entirely new form factor. So these will be noise canceling headphones, noise canceling versions of AirPods 2. And the problem I have with the titling is Apple never even officially called AirPods 2 AirPods 2. That was just something we picked up on in the documentation. There's a very strange thing going on with the release schedule of AirPods, but we know that AirPods 2 got delayed because of AirPods power. And even back then, the leaks were saying Apple's initial plans were to release AirPods 3 and 2 in the same year. So it looks like it's still happening. So the main focus will be noise cancellation. And because of that, the design has to change. So we're going to be getting an in-ear tube, very likely sealed off. And this is going to change the way AirPods look because they say in the article that battery life will be a major concern here. Now, this design you're seeing, this is our interpretation of AirPods 3 based on the actual patent applications. If you actually look through those, Apple has gave us the rough shape of this new in-ear headphone that they're working on. And we literally just built this design around this. So I actually really like it, what it came to. It's a little jagged, it's a little sharp, something that I don't think Apple would go so aggressive on, but I wanted to make a point here. These could be a very, very cool thing. And I don't know what the two would look like. We're just inferring here, but I'm assuming you'd have a little seal around it or something like that. So these coming in, the Powerbeats Pro product colors would be pretty neat. We basically combined AirPods 2 plus the Powerbeats Pro with an Apple spin on it. And that's what you're seeing here. The case would change. It would likely be an opening up one where you'd slide them in. You know, we don't know. We don't know that at all. But apparently these are coming by end of year and it gets better. So their report was cool. Then my boy Ming Chi Ko comes in and says, Yes, these are happening and they are happening by end of year and he gave us some more details. Ming Chico elaborates that not only are we getting an upgraded version of AirPods, Apple will be refining and changing the existing version at the same price point. So we just got AirPods 2. What could they possibly do to those to refresh them? I'm guessing give them some fresh colors. So that's the only way I see this working. Otherwise, AirPods 2.5 makes no sense if you're actually going to be selling people these AirPods 3 models alongside them. And I'm guessing Apple will be getting rid of AirPods 1 and just have AirPods 2 and then AirPods 3 with two separate designs and possibly different colors between them. Make it simpler because having three versions of the AirPods certainly wouldn't make sense. Now, Ming Chi Ko didn't provide any details regarding the actual design of AirPods 3, but one thing he said piqued my interest. He said that internally inside the AirPods will now use a system in package design for the chip manufacturing process. And this is a great thing because of several reasons. For one, Apple can make more of these with less problems, so a higher yield rate. Two, this means that there's more space inside of the AirPod now. So that leaves more space for that larger battery because noise cancellation is pretty taxing on that. And I actually connected a dot here. So earlier, Max Weinbeck said the AirPods case might be changing for the new generation. Little did we know at the time that AirPods 2 was not a true refresh. He was likely referring to this AirPods 3 redesign. So we designed this case accordingly. Of course, it will be larger to support a different design, but yes, it will be a bigger case. Other than that, we don't know really anything else. So I'll be updating you on the leaks and features possibly of these as time goes on. But Ming Chico is saying these will be a smash hit and will take Apple to the next level. This product alone is such a big deal for Apple. So that's why maybe they waited so long to release it. I don't know. Certainly do not take Apple for a fool. They absolutely own the wireless Bluetooth headphone market right now with their AirPods. AirPods 2 is going to help put a bigger dent in that. And then by end of year, I'm guessing with the iPhone 11 or whatever it'll be called, Apple will be launching these in conjunction. So they will be like a killer duo pair with possibly that matte black coating on both. That's simply been shelved, not killed. That project was just delayed until end of year. It's very exciting. And I'm going to tie this in with an interview with Johnny Ive 
and the way that he designs things. So in an interview with Document Journal, Johnny Ive says that he's constantly designing things and at Apple, they place things in the back burner very often until technology matures enough where that technology becomes viable. So Apple is constantly revisiting older designs that they have stashed away and it's a very interesting prospect to me because air power just got killed. The technology was simply not possible in 2019. So do not think for a minute that Apple is leaving that alone. In the future, they will likely revisit that once the technology catches up amongst other things in the future. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.